secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? You want answers? I think you can handle them. Well, so does he. Live from Austin. You want Texas, the truth? Broadcasting worldwide. You can't handle it's the truth. Alex Jones. Well, I think you can handle the truth. Thank you for joining us on this Sunday worldwide Vader Day, Father's Day. Thank you so much again for joining us. I forget, is it Dutch or is it German that Vader is father? Hence the Vader joke. Uh, here is large excerpts of the Stansbury research speech that I gave a few weekends ago in Dallas. We're premiering it here. It's not been released up until now. Stansbury gave it to us. Porter Stansbury introduced me. Of course, T. Boone Pickens was there as a keynote speaker. Uh, spoke right before I did. And it was a very informative conference. And so uh, we'll uh, play a segment of it now and some more in the next segment. Then the next hour, Ron Paul. Never before released interview we did a few weeks ago that Kit Daniels did on a host of issues and more in the second hour of this jam-packed Father's Day edition, but here is part of the Stansbury research interview, and then the full interview will be posted by the end of the show in video, in living color at InfoWars.com. If folks out there want to catch that and share it with others, here it is. Our, uh, our next speaker really needs no introduction. 
Um, uh, Alex Jones is one of the most controversial and polarizing figures in all of American media. Um, I got to know him as part of our End of America advertising campaign beginning in about 2010. Uh, we were able to, he graciously uh, let us use his voice, which is probably the most famous uh, voice in any kind of um, financial marketing in history because something like 50 million people viewed our End of America documentary on YouTube. And uh, as you probably know, he uh, has a, a big uh, internet radio presence um, and broadcasts daily to millions of people around the world. He has some very uh, unique views uh, and, and how he sees events and the, uh, around the world developing. And uh, rather than spoil all of his fun, I'd just like to bring him out and let him tell you about it. Alex? Thanks. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, I got about 19 minutes, so I better get started here. It's good to be here back in my hometown, Dallas. And I want to thank you all for coming out. I really like the Stansbury Association Society and the speakers so far have been really thought provoking and a lot of great guest ideas for my own radio show. You know, a lot of people are here, experts in energy, oil and gas, stocks, who know a thousand times more than I do about their specific fields. I just wanted to speak today about the human condition and the fact that if we don't have a free society, we don't have prosperity, we don't have any future at all. We don't even have an identity. Uh, all the major psychological studies show, and I'm going to go over some of those, that people that live in, in, in really oppressive societies uh, just aren't even really conscious or awake uh, and have had their humanity driven out of them. And we're now at a critical crossroads uh, in this civilization, in this society, where there are corporate special interests that are crony capitalists who are really involved in a revolution, uh, almost a computerized overwrite of human civilization, the good, the bad, and the ugly. They are trying to make the world in their image while masquerading as capitalists, and they are openly uh, in thousands of publications. I mean, I'm sure you've seen them, you've heard them from Ray Kurzweil right down the line to the folks at the United Nations saying, we've decided what your future is and we've decided humanity is ugly and bad and we're going to reduce the population down to almost nothing. We're not going to move forward as other civilizations have done trying to build a better society and have progress. We're going to try to invert that under what the United Nations calls Agenda 21, which is, of course, a global treaty from 1992, to shut down economies worldwide and only allow select crony operators to uh, control the economy. So they conquer the world through economic fraud and regulation, uh, the whole time posing and calling it capitalist globalism when it's really just organized, organized crime with a very sophisticated PR system through the controlled state-run uh, medias of the planet. And the major power blocks in the world, the Chinese, the Russians, the BRICS, and the Anglo-American West are competing with each other on many levels, but also are always competing to, to uh, adopt forms of tyranny to suppress their own populations and consolidate control. And it is because they're only looking out for their own corrupt interests that you almost see a blindness uh, in the elite to the system they're creating. Now, will there be a singularity by 2040 like Ray Kurzweil, the head of Google, uh, future technology says? I don't know. But undoubtedly, if the Gutenberg press shook up the church, brought down the monarchies, created a renaissance, but also a lot of other bad things, not just good things, the type of changes we're seeing yearly dwarf the Gutenberg press, and it is compressing time together. So now the opportunities in this great time of change are unlimited. It's literally like a stairway to heaven or a stairway to hell. And the globalist technocrats have decided to for a move that creates a stairway to heaven, what they believe will be life extension technology, total control, a type of Elysium type world uh, that they want to build, but a hell for us. But in truth, if we point out that this great time of change can be a positive one and not a dystopic future, if we're pro-human, 
then it can be basically a stairway to a much better world for everyone and the human condition. But that's going to take libertarians, conservatives, uh, the producers to not just shrug uh, like an Atlas shrug and leave and turn the world over to the collectivists and the king rats. We're going to have to get really aggressive in the face of this anti-human, anti-progress movement and really raise our rhetoric and our radicalization up to the level to meet this radical threat. We either do that or we will be conquered uh, by the technocrats who are basically the most corrupt, anti-human, uh, anti-free market people that anyone could imagine. They crave control of the markets, not competition in the markets. They crave an end to the markets and to people self-determining with the technology they develop, with the work they put in, with the literature and art they create. They want to control that process as all despots have done in the past. And they hope that technology will be the empowering tool to bring that forward. The problem for them is they thought they could control the narrative and could direct us where they wanted to go. But the genie is truly out of the bottle and the clock is ticking. Because if we do slouch towards Gomorrah, uh, as one federal judge famously said, Bork, and just turn the world over to the technocrats like they know best because they're in charge, we will probably see the end of this species on this planet, or certainly a new dark age uh, that rivals any dystopian sci-fi novel that you can imagine. Now, I'm sure many men in the room are tortured by this image, Marilyn Monroe on screen there at her prime. And I just wanted to illustrate here that we're selling snow cones in hell. We're not selling snow cones to the Eskimos, ladies and gentlemen. Liberty is sexy, liberty is popular, Liberty is truly liberal in the vein of Thomas Jefferson. And the so-called liberals that we see operating worldwide today, when you even read their own publications and writings, are again the most anti-human, unhappy, and generally ugliest people, even physically, that you could imagine. And they have a disdain they have a disdain against those of us that love humanity and believe in humanity, but also believe in our right to excel and those of us that aren't guilty if we're better at golf or better at science or better at hydrology or better at uh, petroleum geology or better at mathematics or better as a talk show host. We deserve to be free, to be self-determined and to build our own personal worlds that we like and to bring other people who we want to associate with into free association to build cultures and civilizations that reflect our values. That's true liberalism, the opposite of Barack Obama. And we must absolutely put our message out and show collectivism creates North Korea, collectivism creates the failed Soviet Union, it creates the hell that Venezuela now is, it creates absolute nightmares of anti-human sorrow. We'll be right back with more of the speech on this Father's Day transmission. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. Infowars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called Infowars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulting us. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at Infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Detroit. Seven Planet TV. you got to set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out intellectually. It's begun and you can feel it. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I can take her on romantic dates, I get her flowers, you name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider this. The abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are suffering and being thrown off balance 
especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com or call 1-888-253-3100.